Ah, that's number 10. That's a nice one right there. Look at that. I want to go fishing. Let's go fishing. Look at that. Over there. Fish finder. Good to 3,000 feet. Need no stinking fences. You look official. I'm with Fish and Wildlife, aquatic and species. Uh huh. We're out here looking mainly for the zebra and quagga mussels. But from within the city, we're keeping an eye out for milfoil, just making sure they don't head out of the water. Yeah. Um, we're also making sure that vegetation doesn't hop around from lake to lake. Oh, I see. I'm Jean. Ashley, very nice to meet you. I'm recording. I see that. <laughs> That's a clean boat. It is. Well, I just got here. Hey, yeah, there you go. How you doing today? Good, I'm Gene. Gene, Corey. Nice to Corey, meet you. Corey, pleasure to meet you. Yeah, we're uh, making sure the watercraft are coming and going or vegetation free and so that way they can't be yeah. brought to another body of oh, water. Oh, of course, and, of course. Know, drowned out the local vegetation. And, right. Uh, is that all you guys are checking for today? That's all we're checking uh, for. I actually had two questions for you, yeah. if that's okay. Sure. I was wondering the last body of water your boat was in. This one. This one. About how long ago was that? Three days ago. Three days. Awesome. <laughs> uh, we haven't seen much vegetation coming out of here, thank the heavens. Yeah. No, it's been really clean. Yeah. yeah. So that's what we're looking for. So all the boats look good? The trailers look good so far? Yeah. yeah. Everybody that's out here good. did such a clean... It's a clean lake. It is, really. Yeah. This is, yeah. A, this is only my what, third time I've ever been here. I just moved from uh, eastern Washington to this side. Oh, how about that? And uh, so I'm getting to learn all the new bodies of water over on this, right. this place. Well, I would this imagine that cool. I would imagine the temperature has something to do with that. Oh, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. Warmer water over there, more you know, invasive species. Oh yeah. yeah. The warmer the water, the faster they grow. The colder the water, the more they tend to die sure. back a little bit. Sure. Uh, even if they're displaced from boats or from swimmers, for that matter, sure. sure. Uh, they won't technically regrow terribly fast until the summer hits. Right. Yeah. yeah. So, I do nice. this for my YouTube channel. Cool. So. Uh, Hope you don't mind. Oh, hi, how yeah. you doing? <laughs> no, not at all. Not at all. Ooh, which YouTube channel? It's uh, Northwest Fishing Fanatics. <gasps> Northwest You're... Fishing Fanatics, okay. Oh my gosh, yeah, yeah I've heard of you guys. Yeah, I, I, I get uh, recognized almost everywhere I go. It's kind of weird. That's awesome, man. <laughs> that awesome. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Well, maybe I'll later on we'll hop on and see if, if you're uh, posting our video on there. Be like, hey, look, we're, there we are. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Sir, yeah, it'll be a couple days. But yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, right on. Well, hey, man. Yeah. Pleasure meeting you. Pleasure meeting you as well. Thank you. Pleasure meeting you. Pleasure meeting you too. Yeah. yeah Good luck. Out. What are you fishing for today? Well, I'm gonna. I had some problems with my fish finder, so I've been, you know, I switched it out with another fish finder that I had, and so I'm actually out here just to make sure my fish finder works. So I'm gonna try to troll for some trout, head down on the other end of the lake there, and then probably hit some perch, you know, just so I can go home with something. That's what most people are uh, out here for today is perch. Oh yeah. That's a popular today is they're out there by the millions that's what i've heard yeah, yeah. and there's no like, limit on them right you know so right. i usually just catch like 10 because sure. what am i gonna do with more than that yeah, <laughs> yeah uh, over in eastern washington ice fishing is really popular over there mm -hmm. and uh perch perch right. for the ice fishing it's so popular over there right. to me that just doesn't sound like <laughs> sounds cold <laughs> yeah one of my co-workers back in spokane every year he's come out just come out with yeah. me once just come out yeah. Now, if you took like a hunting blind or something with you out there and had a heater and a that chair and okay. all that stuff, then it'd yeah, be all right. Yeah, he just brings his little sled with all of his gear and and just sits on a bucket. And not, that just does not sound entertaining. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I'm going to get this I'm thing. I'm missing something. I don't know. Uh, no, I'm sure you're not. All right, thanks. Have a good okay. one, sir. Okay, all right, bye. Good luck out there. Get this thing launched. There was a blue heron in the boat launch. 
he's gonna have to move on the ramp. Get this thing backed in here. Whoa. Where am I going? I can't see where I'm going. There we go. Nice and straight. Super, super nice launch. This is a super nice launch. Doesn't cost a penny. Except for in taxes. <laughs> Get a little weight in the back. Beach it over here. Get the bow up. Just like that. Back here on American Lake and my fish finder is now working. There were some fish right here. I'm trying to relocate them. Not relocate them as if, mo as if moved them somewhere else. <laughs> it's nice, nice to have a working fish finder again. I'm right over top of a group of fish. There we go. Did we get him? We got him. We got him. A little bit off our waypoint, but there was a fish right there. Oh, and it's a nice little perch. Look at that. That's a nice little perch, huh? Okay. That is a fat perch. Right in the top hook. Come on, open up. Open up. Oh, yeah, look at that. That is a nice little perch. Didn't have to go very far. That right there is perch number one. As you can see, we are right on top, stop, park right on top of my waypoint. And those fish are not there now. And I think what we'll do, is we'll just troll over that way. No sense in wasting the water in between here and there. First one I'm, I'm going to put out is this small three inch dodger. Just small three inch dodger right here with a with a small silver dick knight. Small silver dick knight with a single hook. No trebles. Oh shoot, I just made a mess. Oh my goodness. Look what I just did. Good grief. Man, I gotta clean this up before I plug that in. That'll be in a way. Don't you just hate being clumsy? Well, maybe you're not clumsy, but the older I get, the more clumsy I become. And you can tell when I made these downrigger clips, I made them really long. So it's easy. <laughs> easy to deal with. Send her down. Into stealth mode. Okay, we're going a little slow. It's 0.9 miles an hour. That's on. That's on. That was on speed two. Now I kicked it up to speed three. Oh yeah, speed three, baby. Okay, so we're doing 1.2 now on the number three setting of this Enduro C250 pound high thrust 12 volt Minn Kota trolling motor. Dang straight. For those of you who don't know, in my spare time, I sell real estate. Actually, it's not true. In my spare time, I go fishing, but I own a real estate company, Northwest Home Sales. We have 16 brokers that serves the entire Puget Sound area.
and I've been selling real estate for 23 years. So if you know of anybody or you yourself need the services of a highly experienced real estate broker who also fishes, you let me know. All right, back to fishing. I don't know if you have the same problem that I do, but my problem is I have a hard time sitting in one place. I don't know if I have attention deficit disorder or something, but I get really super antsy. And I have to be doing something. And if I'm not talking, my hands have to be moving. I always have to be doing something with my, my mind and my body. Actually, you know, uh, see we're hitting 1.5 now. That's good. Actually, I do my best work when I'm sleeping. If you can believe that, you're supposed to shut down, your brain's supposed to shut down, and your body's supposed to get rest. But you know, I wake up and I think throughout the entire night about work, how to improve my company, how to improve what I do here when I'm fishing, whether it's making videos or um, you know the gear that I use or the technique that I'm using. I'm always trying to make things better because I believe, I don't know if I mentioned this in one of my other videos, is that I live in I live in a perpetual state of dissatisfaction and I, I think the the world benefits from men like me who are never satisfied because they're always trying to improve things where would we be if we never if we become complacent uh, with the clothes that we wear with our environments with the houses that we build you know with the way we live our lives if we don't try to improve ourselves and improve our environment uh, for us and the people around us, what what good does what kind of a life is that? Well, the stealth technique with the electric trolling motor so far hasn't bore fruit. Looks like this entire place of, this place right here is full of perch. I got to switch. I just got to get on the spot again. But there is a huge, huge pile of perch. I just passed over a big school and I'm trying to find it. It's right, it's right here. Yeah, they're, it's right here somewhere. Yeah, that, well actually they're down on the bottom. About 60, yep. There we go, got him. Got him. Got him. And there's fish down there too, right there. Okay. Ooh, a bunch of fish. Look at that. Let's go ahead and mark that. Oh, look at that. There's a decent size. There's a perch. Oh, that's a decent size one too. Compared to the other day. Huh. Well. That's perch number two. Got him. Got him. Right there, found another pile of perch. There they are, right there on the fish finder. And there he is, Mr. Perch, wanted corn. Got him, got him, there it is. Probably happened anyway, and there is, wow, these are good sized perch compared to the other day. That is perch number four. I seasoned up that corn. And I'll tell you a little bit later what I used to season the corn and you won't believe it. He's got him. Well, we got a nice little spot here, don't we? This one feels like a halfway decent one if that can be said about a perch. Snagged him in the eyeball. That's perch number five. Well, we got him. Here he comes. There, down on the bottom corn. Perch number six. Should be getting bit any second now. Got him. Jeez. There we go. Ooh. That's number seven. Worm dirt. I sure am glad I got my fish finder to work here on this boat. There's a fish right there. Got him. Got him. We have a perch. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. 
Oh, he was, he was snagged. Come here. Come here, I gotta lasso this fish. Oh no, come here. Come here, dude. Oh my gosh, come here. There. And lasso that fish, cause he ain't gonna survive. Ah! Did you see that? <laughs> the fish came off and I used the rod tip to wrap around his tail. Oh, I believe that's number eight. Got him. Look at the size of that one. That is a dandy. Wow. Ah, that's number 10. That's a nice one right there. Look at that. Got him. There we go. Got him. Ooh. Look at that. Yes. Mr. Perch. Oh, look at that. Another nice fish. I believe this is number 11, so I'm going to call it quits. Today was an awesome day perch fishing on American Lake. These are a little bit bigger than the ones on average from the last time. I got my fish finder fixed and I'm able to find these bad boys now with ease. Look at that. <laughs> I know they're just little fish, you know, easy to catch, but man, they're a lot of fun. They remind me of when I was a kid. I used to fish for these and with my dad. And so, man, you can't beat that. These are awesome. So, I wanna thank you guys for tuning in, watching my videos. Uh, fishing here at American Lake is actually kind of an in-between type of fishery for me. I'm waiting for, um, I'm waiting for, we got steelhead, winter steelhead coming up. Then we have uh, halibut, offshore halibut, where we go. Uh, 40 to 50 miles offshore for a deep water halibut and fish in seven to 800 feet of water with electric reels. And then there's lingcod trips coming up. And so uh, this American Lake fishery is kind of a, kind of an in-between fishery for me just to keep me occupied and, you know, the tug is the drug, you know that, right? So I, that's why I'm here. And besides, it's fun. And these things are easy to catch uh, and they taste really good. Watch that video that I made uh, about the fish fry. The last, uh, the last video that I made. But uh, I want to thank you guys for watching. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and do so. Uh, I'm gonna head over to the the boat launch and take out and go home. Finish up some work that I that I could do. Anyway, that's not important. Peace, tight lines, and I'll see you on the water. Oh, <laughs> I almost forgot to tell you. My secret sauce on the corn was my canned tuna recipe. If you wanna see how I canned my tuna, uh, look in uh, the playlist uh, Cooking with Gene or something like that. So what I did was I put two teaspoons of Suzy Q and garlic mixture into my jar when I canned my tuna. So when I, last time I made tuna fish, I drained the tuna oil <laughs> that had all that seasoning in it and I put it in the corn. And that is what those fish were hitting. The corn soaked in that tuna oil and Suzy Q and garlic seasoning. That was the secret recipe. Now it's not a secret. Bye now. Gotta button her down. Button her down and get out of here.